First Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Welcome back to News 5 at 5. A lot of people walked outdoors in the Pikes Peak region today and said, May, no way. It felt really chilly out there. We're in the 40s much of the day. 51 right now, east breeze at 7 miles per hour. That's a live look looking out across Pueblo toward the Belmont area. Current temperature 60. That's been as warm as you've been so far today. Wind out of the east right now, 16 miles per hour. Humidity relatively high. We're really quiet up and down the I-25 corridor. No moisture whatsoever. Watching these thunderstorms push across portions of the San Luis Valley, headed for a portion of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Nothing severe anywhere across the viewing area right now. Showers, thunderstorms pushing off to the east at about 15 miles per hour. A little bit of light rain out over Baca County, and that is pretty much the weather story. Still a chance we could land some rain a little later this evening. Prime time for that is going to be between 7.30 and 8.30. Little wave coming off the mountains, running across the I-25 corridor. It won't amount to much, but certainly any moisture. Good news at this point. We'll start with low clouds early tomorrow morning. They will start to push off by mid to late morning. We'll enjoy sunshine mixed with clouds moving in again tomorrow afternoon. Going to be a dry day here across the News 5 viewing area. Here's how it all shakes out tomorrow with that upslope flow. We start with low clouds, maybe even some patchy fog early tomorrow morning. Then we break out into the sunshine and it is going to be noticeably warmer, 15 to almost 20 degrees warmer than what we had today. Tracking a storm system that promises some rain by Thursday. A little disturbance moving across the state will have more of an upslope flow. That'll entice low level moisture up against the hills. So with the energy in the atmosphere, a good chance of seeing some thunderstorm activity during the day Thursday, mainly focused across Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. Then we'll repeat that process Friday into Saturday as well. Outside right now, Pueblo and Westcliff tying for the warm spot in all of Colorado here in eastern Colorado anyway, temperatures of 60 degrees. Low temperatures tonight, 40 degrees for the springs in Pueblo, so not a bad night by uh, mid-May standards. Afternoon highs tomorrow showing some signs of life. It's going to be a beautiful around here once we lose those low clouds and the patchy fog early tomorrow morning. In Colorado Springs, warm and breezy on Wednesday with fire danger increasing. There's the thunderstorm activity on Thursday. Going to go with a two for now on that storm impact scale. Some of those thunderstorms could be a little intense from time to time. We'll We'll watch that closely and keep you updated. The weekend, 69 on Saturday, warming nicely with dry skies by Sunday. In Pueblo, very pleasant temperatures through the weekend and rain possible Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It'll be the afternoon thunderstorm and early evening thunderstorm activity. Pattern change next week with warmer, drier air pushing in. Get those swamp coolers ready to roll. 93 degrees by next Monday. Canyon City, very similar. You'll be dry the next couple of days with that low-level moisture around. I've got thunderstorms in your forecast Thursday, Friday into Saturday. And for Woodland Park, it's going to be nice temperature wise. You're in the 60s and 70s for the next seven days. Rain in the forecast Thursday, Friday, then again on Saturday. That's it for now. Mike.